Allie, are you ready? Are you ready? No. Yes. All right, let's do this. Apps that help us track our health are really popular and helpful. There are apps that track our steps, apps that map our bike rides and runs, apps that help women track their periods, apps to book doctor's appointments, and then there are apps that count our calories through food diaries. If you are what you eat, what can we learn about the record of our diets? We can definitely learn about our habits and preferences. For example, what can we guess about a person from this diet? Perhaps we guess they're an American. What about this diary entry? It could be the same person on a different day, or it could be a different person in a different part of the world. It would be hard to know for sure unless you had access to a lot more information. The companies that help you track your diet do have access to a lot of information about everyone's diets. This is supposed to be a server. I don't know. I'm not an artist. If we add this blue glow, does that help? Whatever. Anyway, let's say that everyone's app data is stored in this central location. Last year, MyFitnessPal reported that they had over 80 million registered users worldwide and a database of over 5 million foods. People from all over the world log in every day to track what they're eating. What can we learn from this data? And what kinds of privacy concerns does it present? This is what the South by Southwest panel is all about. One example of the insight we can learn from food diary data is that we can observe trends over time. The Open Data Institute recently analyzed data published by the UK government and found that modern Britons drink more coffee than tea. This caused some concern. What is more British than tea? One of the researchers who worked with this data will be joining us to discuss the work she did to protect people's privacy while still revealing useful insights from the data. We could also put this data to work alerting people about food safety issues. Wouldn't it be nice if your food diary app could tell you that your peanut butter was recalled? Representatives from private industry and government health and safety offices will join us to discuss the pros and cons of this kind of data sharing arrangement. On the other hand, we can sometimes get ahead of ourselves when it comes to data. We want all the benefits and don't want to think about the risks. Food diaries contain sensitive information about our health and identity that we may want to keep private. CDT will bring this perspective to the panel discussion. If you think this sounds interesting, vote for our panel to be part of South by Southwest 2017. Killing it.